you show me watercolor pencil techniques you use? I sure can, and for today. I'm going to use the IKEA Mala watercolor pencils. Alright, let's get started. For the first tip, you can use the pencils as is, just like a regular color pencil. For tip number two, use the pencils as is like color pencils. Then brush it with water afterwards. This will give you a more saturated solid color or watercolor effect. For tip number three, you can dissolve the pencil directly to a wet brush so that you can have a more solid or saturated color. Remember to be careful when doing this technique. Make sure to only rouch the tip of the pencil lead. Try not to wet the wood part. Here are some more footage to illustrate how it's done using different colors. It may take you longer to paint this way, but it's worth it as it gives more punchy colors. By the way, since we're here, I would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to this channel. It is a big deal as it helps me make more videos like these, so if you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And also, if you have ideas or tips for using watercolor pencils, don't hesitate to leave a comment, it'll be a big help for everyone. Aside from the fact that I love hearing back from you and reading all your comments, here's another example of tip number two which is to lay down the colors on paper, then brushing it with a wet brush. I find this process useful whenever you want to create gradients or fade outs. You'll also get a cleaner transition or gradients when you brush it down with a wet brush. Now let's move on to tip number four, which is using a lot of water in contrast with the tip earlier. Tip number four is used to depict shadowing or to illustrate something delicate. For tip number five, we use this technique to add a more solid saturated line. We do this by dipping the tip of the pencil to water, then we draw our lines again. Remember to be careful and use only the tip, and avoid getting the wood part wet. This technique also works. If you want to lay more pigment on the paper before brushing with water, this is very similar to the first tip, but much faster. The trade-if though, is that it will be much difficult to make gradients. So be sure to only use this technique in laying down solid colors. For our last tip, it's dissolving the pencil directly to water. All you have to do is to put a few drops of water in one of the wells of your mixing palette then. Grind the tip of your pencil by scratching it directly to the palette's surface. This will let you use your watercolor pencils, like regular watercolor. This technique will also let you work easier in painting large spaces on your artwork. I also find this technique to be the most useful, as it lets me work faster and it doesn't disrupt my creative process. I can also mix and blend colors quicker this way. I'm almost done, just a few more finishing touches. And there you have it, my 6 tips on using watercolor pencils. I hope this helps you in getting started with watercolor pencils or improve your coloring process. Just like they say, with great power comes awesome artworks. Let me know which tip is your favorite one, and leave a comment below. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.